<laughs> That's hey. me. That's up, I mean, I've only been here for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now come on. You know I'm a lady. Sometimes it takes me a little while to get it together. Hey, cool, hey, cool. <laughs> Wait a minute, now look. Let me find out. You remember my favorite drink? Come on now. You know what I mean? Tequila lemon drop. Uh, you know what I'm uh, saying? Okay. <laughs> I got us a nice view right here by the window. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. You think we can close close the curtains on the window? Actually. But that's the view. That's the purpose of the view. I I know. I just I don't really like people watching me eat and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I just I like privacy. That's all. As you wish. That's all. I got you. Thank I you. I got you. It's cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thought you would have liked to view it cool or whatever. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? But how about that? That's Private. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, you want something to eat? Ah, uh, no, no, I'm good. I actually ate before I came, so. Okay. Yeah. But what's going right. on with you? Now, you done called me down here to talk about something. What's the latest? Because, you know, the last time we talked, you was talking all this broke mess. And I don't like hearing you talk like that. So what, what's up? So I guess I can't open up this conversation then because I'm on the same topic. <laughs> what? Nah, so I, just being honest, man, it's just this transition is crazy. But, you know, I think I um I, I got an opportunity came across me. You know what I mean? I think I might take it. You know what I mean? Just, just double back into the street just a little bit. Wait a minute. Hold on. Now, I liked what you said about a new opportunity, but doubling back into the streets. What are you talking about? Just gonna be a little grass. Grass. Just a little grass. Some light. It ain't gonna be nothing hard. I don't gotta worry about no cartels, none, none, none of that extra stuff. You know what I mean? I ain't dealing with a whole bunch of money. It ain't millions of dollars. Just a little grass. A couple Dude. pounds in there. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Maybe I'm everybody sorry. smoke. I'm aware, but at the end of the day, you you out. You did a lot to get out, and you gonna go back for, for some grass? Diva. I mean, hell, if you gonna go back, I would hope it would be for something more than that. Diva, to be honest. I don't want to take no big chance like that. You know what I'm saying? That you, I can get some good money off of that, and I ain't got to worry about the, the the super risk. And to be all the way real, if I ain't know the lady at the bar, I ain't got the money to pay for this. Hello. That's why I'm here. I know you. You a man. You can handle it. You can take care of yourself. I understand. But, D, if you need some money, I got you. Diva, I can't. Why you can't just... What? I can't ask you for no money. Why not? We yeah. family or not? Yeah. Okay. And do family look out for each other or not? Yeah. I, it ain't never gonna sit right with me with my family out here talking about they broke. Like, no. Come on now. Listen. Why don't we... Why don't we figure out a business proposition? Just a way to to get you some income coming in the legal way so you don't have to get back in the game. Is there anything that... I don't know, some business proposition, anything you interested in, you think you can think of? You always on point. I promise you always on point. Okay, so this is a bit of a stretch. Okay. The owner of my barbershop, mm -hmm. he's looking for an investor. You know what I mean? And it, it, it could be, you know, potentially it could bring a lot of business to you. And one of the barbers in there, he's introducing this new line of, uh, it's like a... It's a beard oil, in a sense. It's mm -hmm. kind of like a pomade. They're still working on the kinks and stuff, but I, I actually believe it has the potential to like take off. And if you invest into the barbershop, I believe I could talk him into you know adding in a percentage of that oil. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And maybe we could rock it like that. That's not a bad idea, D. Yeah. So the the barbershop, what's um. What's the traffic like over there, the foot traffic? Is it real busy? Is it low key? No, nah, I mean, yeah, it's 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 pretty steady. I'm not gonna lie, it, it, it be jumping. It be, you know okay. what I'm saying? It's, it's a good area, so it definitely be a lot of people in there. So it, the traffic is, is heavy. Okay. For sure. Okay. Well, um, what's like deliveries and stuff looking like? You talking about the oils and everything with inventory. What is, what's like the delivery route and everything looking like? Is it discreet? Is there any type of discretion there or? I, I mean, honestly, I'm not too privy on the delivery parts of it, but I'm I'm pretty sure I can get all that information to you. You know what I mean? That'll be nothing. Just go ahead and get all that information to you. So, yeah. yeah. Make make sure you get that information to me. I got you. I think that's good. I um, I hey, count me in. Now I don't know nothing about no barbershop, no cutting hair. That's your ministry and everything. <laughs> but I'm happy to invest, and you can run the logistics of everything, and we can just go from there. I think I think that that could definitely work. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Cool. Uh huh. All 
Alright, um, I mean, <laughs> I I can get you something to eat. You got a whole lot of people outside, but they is is they hungry? Too? Uh no, they good. They um just keeping watch, making sure everything's straight outside. That's all. Okay. But um, you think you can set something up like with the I can definitely set something up. I can set something up. The purpose of having security is to be discreet. You got I, a lot of 